the Continuum Lab. In the past few videos, I've been making MIDI wind instrument mouthpieces, which are cool because they kind of trick the brain with lights and sensors. I've been focusing mainly on woodwind instruments, such as a saxophone, because I'm a saxophonist, so that's the low-hanging fruit right there. But in this video, I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to do something a bit more unfamiliar to me, which is a MIDI brass instrument mouthpiece. So how's that even going to work? I mean, brass is different. In brass, there's no reed, so your lips are doing the vibrating and making the actual noise. With my simple sensors, I can't really measure lip vibration in any meaningful way. But what I can do is measure the part where you tense up your lips to get higher harmonics. And then I can apply that result to selecting a note from a series of overtones. Maybe that's enough to trick the brain, maybe it's not. Give me two minutes and we'll find out. Let's do it. We can reuse this uh, breath sensor and connect the new mouthpiece to it just like we did last time. I have this bit of plastic from a food container and I just need to make a suitable hole in it, a bit smaller than the diameter of the breath sensor too. Next I'll build a curved structure out of a couple of bits of cardboard and I'll make a hole through the center for the breath tube. The plastic has to cover this structure, but first we need to apply the capacitive lip sensor, which sounds really fancy, but it's really just a piece of copper tape with a bit of cable solder to it. That also needs to have a hole in the middle for the breath sensor too. The copper tape goes on the inside of the plastic, centered in the middle, and now we can glue the plastic to the cardboard like this, and we're almost done. We still need to attach the mouthpiece to the breath sensor, we can just uh, pull the silicone tube through the hole in the plastic like this. Now I can plug the capacitive sensor cable into the breakout board and then I can connect the Teensy microcontroller to the computer via USB. The sketch that I'm uploading has all of the original code from the breath sensor and now it also includes this section here which reads the new lip sensor and then turns the reading into a note value by simply referencing this array right here. There's a link to the code in the description. Let's try it out. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty interesting. Of course, this mouthpiece is not really measuring lip tension directly. Rather, it's just measuring this shared surface area between my lips and this uh, capacitive sensor here. But then, of course, because of the curved shape of the mouthpiece, the more I tense up my lips, the more they kind of stand up from the surface, touching with less surface area, and so it works out in the end. Um, Nice. That works pretty well. I mean, as I mentioned, uh, brass instruments are a bit foreign to me, but I have blown into a trumpet and I can reproduce the first couple of harmonics, so um, I know how the basic concept works. The question is, would this be interesting to anyone who actually plays a brass instrument? Anyway, what's clear after this first test is that I'll have to make a full trumpet type instrument to combine this type of mouthpiece with a three valve fingering setup and see if I can make a playable instrument. But that'll have to wait for a bit, because I still have at least one more mouthpiece related video that I want to share with you, and it's probably my favorite. So next time, it's flute time. Come and watch as I make the world's second ever flute mouthpiece emulating MIDI controller. Of course, I also made the world's first, not that I like to make a big deal out of it, but there's a link to that in the description. So if you want to make really sure that you don't miss any of that, then you should subscribe right here in the Continuum Lab YouTube channel and also find me over on Instagram, also as Continuum Lab. And that's all for now. Take care until next time and I'll see you in the Continuum.